the Canadian Middleweight Championship. As Global Legacy Boxing presents the Canadian Boxing Championships from the Madame Sorry. Athletic Center. Sorry. And when you look at the names of yeah. past champions, the Hilton stand out for you, Michael Elijah Day. But in fact, Otis Grant and Otis Grant will be in the corner today. Yeah, how fitting. And as you can see, uh, those names right there, this Canadian middleweight championship, it's a stepping stone for several of those guys to go on and win world championships. That could be the case for either one of these guys. Maybe a little bit more likely for a guy like Jake Trotter than someone like Waleed Smichet. champion he represented Tunisia at the 2001 francophone games and they were held in Ottawa and once they were over he said he liked it so much he stayed and he's become a fan favorite ever since one of the most exciting fighters that's come out of Canada in the past 10 or 15 years it's interesting about both these fighters both of them have had some layoffs for uh, Smichette this will be his uh, second fight after coming out of a retirement he retired in April of 2010 after getting knocked out by David Lemieux. It was his third loss in four fights, and so it caused him to rethink the career. Yeah, I think Smichet decided there's a certain level of guys he's not able to beat at this point in his career, but there's a whole generation of Canadian middleweights that maybe he can go in there and knock out, and that's what he's looking to try to prove tonight. Let's welcome to the ring, James Trotter. Well, they call him Irish, Irish Jenks Trotter, a 30-year-old out of Calgary. For him, this will be his uh, 12th fight. He's won eight of them, all of them by KO. But again, here is a young man who is uh, getting back into the ring after having been off due to eye surgery. He actually had somewhat of a crossed eyes. Yeah, and it, it, it obviously... Uh was a, a difficult time for him, but it was the second layoff that he's had in his boxing career. The other time he took a layoff, Vic, he decided he was going to go and work in the oil rigs full time, something which he now does and balances with a professional boxing career. That's uh, he's up at the uh, uh, just on the edge of the gas fields in Grand Prairie, Alberta. He's working 84 hours a week, he said, and then he tries to find time to train. And it's difficult when you're trying to make a living. You've had people to support. I'm thinking Troy. And then you also have to get ready to box. Harry Davis, William Boudou, and Kelly Zolnerchik. Your referee, the third man inside the ring in charge of the action, Mr. Dave Dunbar. NCC supervisor from Toronto, Ontario, Mr. Rob Bruno in attendance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, eight rounds of boxing for the NCC Canadian Middleweight Championship. <laughs> Introducing first in the blue corner, he weighed in 159.2 pounds, wearing blue. His professional record reads as follows, 21 wins, 15 wins coming by way of knockout in 31 outings as a professional. He is the former Canadian middleweight champion from Montreal, Quebec, the Sandstorm, Wally Smichet. His opponent in the red corner, official weight, 158.2 pounds. Wearing black, his professional record. Exceptional. Eight wins with only one defeat, and all his wins coming by way of knockout from Calgary, Alberta. Ladies and gentlemen, Jenks Trotter.
dressing room. Belt line is here. Above that is good. Belt line here. Above that is good. I want a good, clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Come out at the bell. Good luck to you both. A little wing from Valid Schmiet. Jenks Trotter, certainly from experience only. That advantage goes to Smichette. How much does experience mean in a fight like this? Oh, definitely. Experience is a very big thing. Because you know how to have the ring generalship when you step in there. And you know the rounds that you're going. You know how to control the ring up until it's that time to box through the fight. Smichette held the Canadian middleweight championship for six months back in 2007. So it is for the Canadian middleweight championship. Slated for eight rounds at 160 pounds. Oh, my. Trotter's known for that overhand right. This is what happens when you get in the ring and you're cold. As you can see, there's no bead of sweat on his body. It's an interesting thing there, and that comes back with that right, and then a combination. And down again to his knees. Khalid Smichette, the sandstorm, is being buried. Oh, my, it got through, and that's it. First round, Irish Jenks Trotter is the Canadian middleweight champion. What a performance. It seems like every time Jenks Trotter goes out there, he has a knockout of the year candidate. A spectacular uppercut to end this one. And right away, bang, he dropped that left and overcame the right. It was a beautiful straight right. Um, what he has to do is automatically jumped in there. He saw that um, uh, Strader was cold, not a beat of sweat on him, and he took him out. You know, the other thing, too, is could could Valid Schmiet done anything? Could I mean, I know he's in trouble, but and it's still early in round one, but could he have done anything to try and stay away rather than coming back into fight? It's either he could have stayed away and try to use the ring, or else he would have, he could have grabbed, try to hold on to him so it buys him time so he gets his head back into the game. So for Jenks Trotter, in just his 12th fight, that is now nine wins and all of them by knockout. And, you know, he was talking to me before and we chatted yesterday and I asked him, what are you going to do? And he... Of the very first round, referee Dave Dunbar stops the contest for your winner and new NCC Canadian middleweight champion, James Crotter. It, I guess, too, I mean, you, you plan. He said he wanted to be a little patient, didn't want to rush. But if the opening is there, and he certainly had the opening, you've got to take it. Definitely, that's, that's exactly what he did. He started opening. You train for 12 rounds, you train for 8 rounds, you train for 10 rounds. And if that opening is there, you take it. Because you do not want to have a fighter recover from, from whatever happens in the ring. Corey is with the new Canadian middleweight champion, Jenks Trotter. Here with the new champion, Jenks Trotter. Uh, Jenks, when we were talking yesterday, you said you had a plan to maybe go out and box for about four rounds. What happened to that plan? Uh, that was the plan. I just uh, I caught him with a good right hand and uh, took my time going in there. Usually, I just jump right on the guy, but I took my time and just my shots were landing tonight. You found an opening for that overhand right, and then you finished things off with that uppercut. What were you seeing in there? What were the openings that you found in Waleed? Uh, the punches I threw. That's what I. <laughs> those are the ones I seen open. So, so that's why I threw them. But. Well, yet another spectacular knockout victory. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. All right, Vic, hey, back to you. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. Thank you. Irish Shanks Trotter. It may be a while till he goes back to the gas fields of Grand Prairie. He's the Canadian middleweight champion.